more children would know the names of the creeks and streams and canyons and valleys and hilltops on this landscape because they would have intimate relationships with it by walking on it or praying on it or visiting it or camping in it with their family. And that's not very common now. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the difference from between, between the past and today and tomorrow is that we're not very intimate with our landscape and with the other species anymore in our knowledge. And the more intimate and familial our knowledge is of landscapes and species, then it's no longer an impersonal destruction that we're involved in. It's a personal reconstruction, personal restoration. Because I think that's, that's how you value it, is that it's, it's known to you in a familiar way and you come to value it. And the idea that you value it comes from first an acquaintance and then an understanding and then a deep knowledge of that place and everything that belongs there. When you have that, then sustainability, I think, is a natural outgrowth of that. <laughs>